Okay. <clears throat> Part three, uh, finding areas using integration, methods of integrations. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equal x cube, y equal x cube plus one. And uh, the y axis and the y axis from x equal, uh, sorry, from y equal uh, zero, that's what he wants me to find from y equal zero to y equal two. Okay. So if we draw y equal x cubed plus one, simple drawing of this function, right? Finding derivative, table of variation, and we did draw y equal x cubed plus one, or we draw y equal x cubed, right? And we shifted one upwards. So this is one for y axis. This is this will be one for x axis or minus one this is minus one this is one this is two for y axis we need those points this is zero and we need to find the area of this part and this part because it's area enclosed between the curve right from zero to two so from x axis to y equal to between the curve and the y-axis, <clears throat> right? We need to find this area. All right, first, uh, let's uh, change uh, the y to x, right? Let's change the uh, x to y, I mean, because we need it on the y-axis from zero to two. So x in terms of y. So y equal x cubed plus one gives us x cubed equal y minus one. This means that x equal cubic root of y minus one. That's great. Uh, this part uh, is x uh, cubic root of y minus 1. We need it from 0 to 2, right? From 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, it's in the negative side of y. And this is true because if y less than 1, if y less than or equal 1, this part is negative and if you put any number between negative or equal to zero, if you put any number between zero and one, you will find that uh, it is uh, negative. And above one, y minus one cubic root of y minus one is positive or equal to zero if y is greater or equal to one. Uh, the, this means this part. If y is above one, so this part is to the, to the positive side of y axis, whether we substitute or we just use the curve, which is easier. To use the curve is much easier. So to find this integration, simply to find the area, which is integral from zero to two of uh, cubic root, it's absolute value of cubic root of y minus one dy, right? Is we find from zero to one of minus cubic root of y minus one because it's negative value then taking out from the absolute value it should multiply with minus plus integral from one to two of cubic root y minus one dy right and now it's very simple to to work with right we can we can say let let u equal uh, y minus 1. This implies that du is equal to d of y minus 1, which is dy, right? du equal dy. Uh, this means that the area is equal integral from 0 to 1 of minus u power. It's not from 0 to 1 anymore. If we are going to use u, if I'm going to use u, and let me use it, if y equals 0, then u equal 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, if y equal 1, this means u equal 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. So it's from minus 1 to 0, minus u to the power. Cubic root of u means u to the power 1 over 3 du, right? Plus integral. If y equal 2, this implies that the same u I'm working with, which is uh, y minus 1, which is 2, u equal 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. This means I'm going from 1 to 2. This means I'm going from 0 to 1 with respect to u, right? I'm just substituting instead of uh, y, u. <clears throat> Substitute the value of y in y minus 1. You get the value of u. This is from 0. It was from uh, 0 to 1 
now it's from minus 1 to 0 and this one was from 1 to 2 now it is from 0 to 1 u to the power 1 over 3 u so that is simple now the answer is minus uh, 3 over 4 u power 4 over 3 right from 0 from minus 1 to 0 plus 3 over 4 u power 4 over 3 from 0 to 1 substituting instead of u those values we are going to get uh, we substitute 0 it will be 0 we substitute minus 1 right minus of minus 1 it will be 3 over 4 <coughs> u power because this is u power 4 cubic root of u power 4 this means it will be 1 and minus 3 over 4 times minus because I'm taking that from a to b right it's minus f of b this means it's a 3 over 4 uh, plus another 3 over 4 which is equal to 6 over 4 then the final answer is going to be 3 over 2 and that's it so it's easy to draw it's easier for you to draw and we directly can uh, now if, if if drawing show us sorry if drawing show us directly that this part is symmetrical with that part right we can we can just take one of the parts and yeah, uh, we multiply with two instead of doing all this i can find the area by by integral only from y equal one to y equal two so it's just from y to two which is one of those parts right from one to two but we multiply it with two because the same area exactly the same they are symmetrical with respect to this point over here so it's it's cubic root of y minus one dy and we work it will be three over four and we multiply by two it will be six over four the same so it's much better for sure to draw so be careful